What's up, everybody? I am back again with another video, and today we're going on a different reaction. So let me read the title real quick. Man kicks out his wife after a DNA test to prove he is not the father of their child. So I have, I haven't seen this before. I think I did react it, but I couldn't remember. So y'all know what to do: like, comment, subscribe, turn the notifications, and make sure you don't miss another video. And let's get into it. This what it this what it looked like, bro. She want to stay in my crib and she pregnant by another dude. Hey, what's going on, guys? Shaq reacts here once again, and today's some crazy clips of the worst single mothers I can find. And like always, guys, my favorite clip will be at the end. But in this first one, it is absolutely insane. This son just found out that his dad is not his real dad. So you were behind my back? Yeah, I'm grown. I'm old enough now. I feel like I got the right to do that. So I just wanted to do a test and see what is my daddy. And so you called him. Yeah, I called him. He was like, um, he thought I was his son. <laughs> so that means that. I don't, we don't see nothing funny. Nah, 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 nah. Cause Cause it is he, nah cause but but told see, I told you that was your dad. I, 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 first, of all, first of all, that is your dad. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know who you took the test with and uh, what you had going on, but that, that's your dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds good, but look, I'm just saying. It sounds good. Nah, that's the result. The result will say what it say now. Nah. I, I, I can't lie, I can't fake no results. Now, if you had something going on, then the man that was my daddy... First of all, you didn't have no business going behind my back. That's what you didn't have no business doing. Yeah, yeah, but I just felt like I ain't had no bond with him like that. Like, I knew something was off. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why I wanted to go get my results and, and see what's going on. Let me tell you something. It's all okay, man. The clip is not done here, but I just have to mention how much her the son is being right now. Instead of him lashing out at the mom, screaming, saying you lied to me my entire life, he's even being mature about it, saying, hey, it's okay. But even with that great response and attitude, let's see how their mom responds to that. You know, I'm, I'm old enough, I understand. Now, if, he ain't, if, if my real dad ain't want to take care of me, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it see, was... some things are better left unsaid. Oh, okay. You should just left like it was. Okay. I ain't tell you, I told you that was your dad, you should have went right on with it all these years. You 18 years old, 19 years old now. You, it's no sense trying to go behind my back to figure it out. You too old. There was zero accountability in the slightest. She'd even apologize. She's actually putting the blame on him for, I guess, doing some digging into his own life. Instead of you apologizing, comforting your son, telling him more about his real dad, you just have to lash back at him saying he should have just slept it like it was and basically sweep it under the rug. This woman's selfish actions ruined three people's lives. That fake fathers and their real fathers. His wife took everything from him. And he still went and helped her, even though she got a new man. That's what he's supposed to do. That's what he's supposed to do? If she know you a sucker, she'll take advantage of you being a sucker. It's In the case of 22-year-old Jessica, Marcus, you are not. <laughs> and in the case of 23-year-old Cassie, Marcus, you are not. <laughs> I ain't gonna run off. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's an evil world we live in. Suck up those tears. The only person that should be crying is the dad. The one who's been lied to. The actual victim in this case. You know what it takes for someone no. like me to go out on a date? What'd it take? I gotta get a babysitter for my kids. Okay. Should a nigga if pay for that? Yes. I but gotta now, pay for I the kids that you made prior that's to me. Guess what? Now, a part of me is my kids. I'm a business owner. Uh -huh. I'm a mother. Mm -hmm. I'm holding down the household. That's why. And, I, and I shouldn't have to pay for your child. I'm not saying company. every day. I'm saying okay. No, no day. A man well, that's for me, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. They know that, okay, she's a mother of two. She's holding down a business. She's holding down a house. She's commuting from Jersey to New York. All right, how much is your babysitter? So this woman is bringing up her business quite often throughout the clip. And I have to say, if your business is as successful as you say it is, don't you have enough money to, I guess, pay for the babysitter and everything else that goes on in the relationship? But you decide to put the burden on the man. But let's see what else she has to say in the clip. How much do you pay your aunt, whatever the case is? Oh, I don't give her nothing. Nine you know what? Nine out of ten, she's taking her to her mom's crib and pocketing the money. If she got money. that, if yeah. a certain type Different. of man that knows what it takes for a woman to raise children, I'm going to give you $50 to give to your aunt or something like that. I'm no. not saying like $100. $200. This is why on day one with kids. I'm beyond. Don't. You, Do you bro. have children? No, I don't. And, and that's why. Because a, a man that has or knows same. what it takes to date a woman that has children, I'm good. they're so going to understand that. Yeah, I'm good too. And honestly, majority of men are good off that as well. This woman's trying to talk about men who take care of another man's kids as strong 
and resourceful. You're just putting your burden and your financial burden on top of another man whose responsibility it shouldn't be. This is exactly why a lot of people don't want to date single mothers and rather just date someone else completely. DNA testing at birth. Mandatory. Mandatory DNA testing at birth. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with that. She belongs to the streets. Check that baby. No. <laughs> like what? Check that baby. I don't care what nobody say. Check that baby. You Why? never know. You never know. The only people that don't agree with that are the ones that cheat often. So if you're bringing this up to your girl and she has a big problem with it, that's a red flag already. Just a single mom of four. None of my children's fathers, I wasn't with them besides this one in my life. Was your father in your life? No. So you a think father have daddy four. issues? I don't think that you have daddy issues. Mm -hmm. I know that you have daddy issues. Yeah, trust me, I know. I have a daughter. The way my daughter views me, she's in awe. She views me as everything is because I treat my daughter as such. So any man that encounters my daughter, she's going to be measuring that man up to me. You don't even meet the things that my daddy mm -hmm. is doing for me. Mm -hmm. So why should I take you? So I'm saying that I know for a fact that it streams from you not having a good father because if you had a good father, the men that you choose would be better men and you would respect them and you would talk to them better mm -hmm. but i know that you don't have a good father because you speak down to your man currently this is very true and the sad reality is a lot of single mothers actually end up raising kids who are pretty bad for example just because a man was just raised by a single mother his chances for being into drugs going to prison and committing felonies actually increase also if she has a daughter her daughter is most likely to end up a single mother as well these are statistics and facts so gentlemen stop messing around with women you don't like or see yourself having kids with so it's okay for women to get abortions but it's not okay for a man to walk away it's okay for women to murder a baby but it's not okay for a man to remove his from a situation that he no longer sees fit it's okay for women to trap a man with a baby because he's rich and wealthy but it's not okay for a man to walk away i, I honestly don't understand women's one-sided perspective y'all are behaving like the man forced you to have intercourse with him he forced you to have that baby even though this man has been showing you with actions that he did not want to be a father and you chose to still go through with it because you know you got the court system to push him to be a father right Women are the issue. Y'all are the same women that is raising these weak, immature young boys to be thugs, to die in the street because y'all lack self-accountability, which you raise a man with lack of self-accountability, which leads to a man. I'm not gonna lie. She's right. And I ain't gonna lie to you. That's right. Because I agree with this one 100%. You see, this is the reason why I watch clips like this. You see, this is the reason why I never date single mothers at all. I don't. I just don't man impregnating a woman and not taking care of it because his mother didn't teach him how to have any morals or values I said it yeah this woman pretty much hit everything on the nail and also she even went into detail about the things I said in the previous clip about how single mothers are creating more single mothers and are also creating kids with horrible weak values pretty much keeping the cycle in loop but let's be honest here the only reason a lot of single mothers do this to themselves is they want a quick payday they don't want to work they don't care about the actual effects of the child and what he's going through and all they care about is filling their pockets up with child support and racking up three four baby daddies to take care of her bills and financial needs are bills and debt becoming roadblocks that are getting in life's way what if we told you there was a solution for over 30 Yeah, this woman was not trying to have kids or raise a loving family. She wanted to get paid through this child support. Out all of human history, now you can take a DNA test, and in some countries, it's actually in France, my that's where I was born, you can't get a, it's illegal to get a paternity test in France because apparently, according to the French authorities or some shit, it would be too destructive to society because men would realize that they were cucked and their partner, there's infidelity, and that the kid's not theirs. And that's a real fear for men, to raise a child that you think is yours. Women can't really relate to this one because if you have a kid, you know with certainty the kid is yours. Well, you, you laugh, but it is a genuine, real fear. That's one of the biggest L's a guy can take in his life is to, th with his wife or partner or whatever, think he's had a kid with her that's his kid and it turns out it's now we're gonna completely ignore that laugh that she just made but this is exactly why cheating for women is far worse than cheating for men specifically because when a man cheats at least we still know who the kids belong to but when a woman cheats the man really has no idea a dna test should be mandatory for any male that wants to be placed on a child's birth certificate i know like a lot of people aren't gonna like that but 
if it was just something that was mandatory, it should just be no argument, no nothing. If it's his child, it's his child. And if it's not, there's just so much more that goes into just like knowing who you are and your identity based off of both of your parents. Like, I was just thinking about it because there was a video that went viral about a man that went to jail for not playing child support for a child that wasn't even his. And I'm like, are you kidding me right now? Yeah, I don't even know if they go into detail about how corrupt the system is currently, the legal system. And now there's even countries like France actually making it illegal for DNA tests to be done because of the repercussions that would happen in their community for all these women being held accountable for their actions, which I find absolutely insane. So today is Friday and I got my child support check and I don't know what to spend it on. I'm gonna go leave my kids at their grandmother's house and I'm probably gonna go out drinking with my husband, go out and gamble a little bit, um, maybe go shopping. The kids don't need anything because I provide everything for them. So I might just go ahead and splurge on myself with my little child support check. What do you girls do with, when you get child support? Now, I'm not sure if this clip is supposed to be sarcasm or something, but this is exactly why I always said in a previous video that child support should be like an EBT card. You should put it on a card and it can only be spent on certain things like food and essentials. It shouldn't be cash where you can spend it on anything you want like Gucci bags, purses, clothes, or even going to the club. And a man should Thanks. be fully aware of where these transactions are going and how his money is being spent. Hey, do women actually say that? Every woman, bro, watch this. Excuse me, quick question. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear bear why the bear because men are very unpredictable sometimes when they're straight usually you don't think the bear's unpredictable no because i'm a crazy bitch, so i'll scare it okay. you could take a bear yeah no, a i'm colombian i could take the bear are you delusional do, or do you suffer from a mental illness how would you take a bear by screaming and being big like you're supposed to how big can you get can you show me <laughs> you have no chance now do you believe me that every woman chooses the bear? Oh, it's be wild I go, I go, that's one thing I learned. Bro. But this woman's being an absolute hypocrite. The reason is, if she's really scared of men as she says she is, she wouldn't be out in the night, in the clubs, just up like a 304 seeking men's validation and attention. But anyways, I do have a question for all the men out there. Would you guys rather be stuck in the desert with a dog or a woman? I've had divorces initiated against them. Brad Pitt, Johnny Depp, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Dr. Dre, Ryan Reynolds, Tom Brady, Lance Armstrong, Alex Rodriguez, Channing Tatum, Chris Rock, Ben Affleck, Chris Pratt, Liam Hensworth, Ben Stiller, David Duchovny, Orlando Bloom, Tiger Woods, Sean Penn, Sylvester Stallone, Paul McCartney, Ryan Felipe, Jason Momoa, Michael Jordan. These are all very attractive men, high status men, wealthy, and even they can't keep a chick. So me as like, I consider myself like kind of a normal dude. I think, bro, if Brad Pitt can't keep a chick, I'm f Wait a minute, something ain't right. This clip really just shows that no matter how successful you are as a man, no matter how good of a man you might be, a provider, or just good morals and characteristics, it still doesn't stop the fact that you might get divorced in the future. This is exactly why all men should be getting prenups, to protect themselves and their assets. Okay, have y'all been together? Since October. So y'all trust each other 100%? Yeah. Yeah? Can we test that there? Sure. Uh, y'all gotta swap on. I'll go to hers first. Who is that right there? Who is that right there? What's up with the emojis? What is up with the emojis? You fool? Go get you some good rest soon. This is exactly why I always say in every single video, go through your spouse's phone, guys. You guys can be getting cheated on, paying for this girl, spending money on her, and thinking in your head that this relationship is going amazingly. But meanwhile, she's hooking up with another man. And you're too scared to go through her phone? Excuse me? How much is the jet ski per person? He'd like this $60. Anyone with $10,000 or more in credit card debt or personal loans may qualify for help from National Debt Relief. Getting 60 plus 60 is 112. If you send the money on Cash App, they make you take an extra fee out the Cash App. So you made me spend an extra $3. That's $115. So you really finessed me to pay for both of us. And let me show y'all, because I looked up jet skiing in Miami. Average pricing per person was from like $110 to $130 for most of the jet ski companies. So I asked him, I said, who told you that? This girl needs to go back to school. Is she an absolute idiot? This man was actually saving her a couple dollars. But now she's thinking she's getting robbed. Are you stupid? I love manly men, not feminine guys then. Personally, I like very masculine men. I like a man who brings out the feminine in me. I don't like a man that makes yeah. me almost bring That's out the masculine thing. in me. That is very Yeah. Important. When your man is a man and takes care of himself, it brings out the feminine side in a woman. Guys get pissed off when women are in the masculine, but they don't realize it's because of themselves that they cause it. Exactly. <laughs> when a woman's man, no. When a woman feels 
sounds I like she can so trust her partner. Yeah. You will find some guy the told feminine me, side of her. Some guy told me literally three days ago, stop acting like a man. I said, you're making me act like this. Maybe you should act like a man so I can act like a woman. You look like a fighter to me. I'm aggressive. What do you mean by that? I hate this argument so much. What happens if a man said the exact same thing and used this logic? Hey, I mean, I'm not that masculine because a woman wasn't feminine enough to bring out my masculinity. That just sounds so stupid. You should be masculine always and a woman should be feminine always. If you're waiting for the right man to be feminine, then you're just not feminine. If a guy says $15,000 on an engagement is a waste of money, but he's willing to spend it on a car, you know who he values more, the car or you. There you have your answer. How is there even a correlation? Are you going to carry him on your back and take him to work every single day? Like, this is a necessity. And plus, 15K is not even a lot for a car. The audacity, bro. Still be in my house, and she pregnant by another okay, dude. Why does it matter? You with different girls all the time. What you mean? What you mean? You with different women all the time. I ain't with no different women all the time. And if I was, I ain't got nobody pregnant, though. I ain't got nobody pregnant, though. Okay. 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 Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. You got to get out of my house. I'm not going you got to get out of my house. You gotta get out of my house. Oh, all that stuff coming out, it's gonna be a, all that stuff gonna be out. Hey, don't walk up on me. Everybody gonna see this too. This what it, this what it look like, bro. She wanna stay in my crib and she pregnant by another dude. Oh man. You, hey. But she did bring up the fact that this man did cheat on her in the past. However, I have to say, that's still no right for her to hide or lie behind his back about the child being his. Cheating and putting the responsibility of another man's child on a man are not the same thing. But she is an absolute idiot for cheating on a man who was already giving her living space. And now I guess she's just homeless. But anyways, that does wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do more content like this, please watch the videos you guys see at the top screen. It does much channel a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace. The Milestone MasterCard is a complete game changer for me. With Milestone, I found a credit card for less than perfect. Okay. Look, I'm at ease. I'm going to say this to y'all. Like, I'm going to say this to y'all. Like, I don't know what's going on between men and women. Like, and I'm going to say this to you. Like, I got a lot to you. Like, this is got This is crazy to me. Like, like between, beside, like, between, like, what was going on. Like, I'm going to be honest to y'all. Like, see, this is the reason why. I have trust issues being like trying to find the right person who doesn't care about the most expensive bags who like, and I'm going to say this too. You see, this is the reason why men don't date mother, don't date women with kids. I don't. And I'm going to say this too. I'm not making excuses. I'm not doing none of that shit because number one, like, because number one, like if you found out like, and you, and because you was raised by your single mother and you was raised by a single mother your whole life and you if your mother doesn't know who your father is because guess what your mother got even got caught up got, got caught up with the wrong person when she got pregnant when she got pregnant by your father your father disappeared and your father didn't care about you and i'm gonna say this to y'all like i'm gonna say this to y'all people need to learn how to communicate and i'm gonna say this to you, even like even like see this is the reason why i don't date women like I want, I want, I need somebody to communicate with me to build a future, but I don't, but I don't need some type of chicken head to take advantage of me because I make probably like over like thirty thousand dollars a year, but I ain't gonna lie to you, but it doesn't matter. But, but the good thing is, but I got somebody I've been with for the past ten years, and I'm gonna let y'all know this life is too short for all this. And I'm gonna let y'all, I'm gonna let y'all men know this. Between men and women, both y'all need to learn how to communicate, and both y'all need to stop with all that chaos and learn how to and learn how to stop and stop stepping out of y'all relationship for doing something. If something y'all want, if you want to step in your relationship, because 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 your man out there working and taking care of the bills and shit, you're wrong for that. I'm just letting y'all know that. So, anyway, I want to thank y'all guys for watching this video. So y'all know what to do like comment subscribe turn the notifications and make sure you make sure you don't miss another video and i will see y'all guys in the next video peace